Hood, the power of assistance, the power of flight. The mystery of the trumpet the Lord said, it is written in the book of Revelation 4, 1 AKJV After this I looked, and, behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up here, and I will show you things which must be hereafter. Jesus said, Tell the world that I am the door of the sheep that is mentioned in Revelation and for humanity to come to this glory, they must enter through the door. I am the gate, if anyone enters through me he will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. Men must receive me as Lord and Savior to have access to this glory. Humanity must go through the door that I am in order to partake of the glory that is available. I have set before humanity a door that no one can shut. Jesus said, entering through the door is the first condition. The second condition consists of hearing the first voice for the Apostle John said, the first voice that I heard was like the sound of a trumpet. You will tell humanity when you come to me, you must keep your ears from strange voices. You must hear the first voice which is the sound of the trumpet. You will tell humanity in my church they should not hear any voice except the voice of the trumpet. They must not allow other voices except the voice of the trumpet. Jesus said to me, when you go back, tell my people, once they have converted, they should not hear any preaching and teaching. They should not just let anyone teach them. It has to be the voice of the trumpet for rapture will happen through the sound of the trumpet. Prosperity and material gospel is not the sound of the trumpet. Only those who hear the sound of the trumpet will be raptured. For when the trumpet is sounded, the dead in Christ will rise. Thus my people should be selective about what they are hearing. There are trumpets that they should not hear. For when the trumpet is sounded, they will be transformed. The trumpet has a sound which is a voice coming from the one who is the Lord. When a man comes to Christ who is the door, he becomes an heir of heaven and heir of glory. He does not need another preaching and teaching except the message of purification and sanctification for heaven. And the Apostle John said, I heard a voice like the sound of a trumpet saying, Come up here. The church is in need of the message of rapture and ascension. The time to come up higher has arrived. Thus the church must be taught to rise above the earth and mount to heaven. Brothers and sisters, when you are not taught to come up higher, you are not well fed and your time is abused. You need a messenger that will sound the trumpet that will cause you to come up higher. We are talking about the ascension and the rapture, but we are not of the earth. If your preacher is teaching a message that has nothing to do with the rise to heaven, he is delaying and diverting you from the destination and the rise to heaven. Not all preaching and all teaching are the sound of the trumpet. Materialism is not the sound of the trumpet. The end times message is the trumpet that will get the church prepared and ready to fly in the air. Yet in order to fly in the air, the church will need to be light for the Bible says, come up higher and I will show you what has to happen. Jesus said, when the church hears the sound of the trumpet, the church will come up higher. The Bible says, come hither and I will show what is to come. When he comes up higher, he will see and the one who sees is a prophet and a seer. Those who hear the trumpet will see prophetic events to come. The Bible says, I will send you another comforter and he will show you the future. The church is prophetic in God and hearing sound doctrine has the prophetic anointing. John 14 16 AKJV And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. John 16 13 AKJV However, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatever he shall hear, that shall he speak and he will show you things to come. Jesus said to me, tell the end times prophets in order to be able to see, they must first rise. And when they rise, they will prophesy things from above. When a prophet is prophesying material and terrestrial things he has not risen. End times servants will preach things from above and heavenly mysteries for the church is celestial. The mystery of the one on the throne the Lord Jesus continued, the Bible says in Revelation 4, 2-4 And immediately I came to be in the Spirit and saw a throne set in the heaven, and one sat on the throne. 3 And he who sat there was like a jasper and a ruby stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald in appearance. 4 And around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, dressed in white robes. And they had crowns of gold on their heads. TS 2009 Version Jesus said to me, Moses, in this passage, the Apostle John said that he had seen, one sat on the throne, which means I am alone, not many. 
As you can see, I am alone on the throne. There are not three people here. You will tell my people that they are not three different people for I am alone. Jesus said, John described the one sitting on the throne having the appearance of precious stones. Brothers and sisters, on the throne, I was beholding the Lord and he was shining like a precious stone. He was made up of precious stones. Jacob saw a stone. Jesus told Peter, you are a stone, and upon this stone, I will build my church. And the church is built in the aspect and the identity of Christ who is like a precious stone. I was still contemplating the Lord in heaven around his throne, and I saw that he was changing colors like a precious stone and he was awesome. The Lord asked me, man, how do you find me? I replied with emotion, Lord, you keep changing colors and you are changing. The Bible says, the one who sat on the throne had the appearance of jasper and ruby. In fact, the Lord's color was changing from jasper to ruby. Remember from jasper to ruby. And the Lord said to me, man, listen. In the past, the priesthood in their priestly garment had twelve stones, which were a representation of the twelve children of Jacob. The first stone in the priestly garment was the first son of Jacob, Reuben, represented by Ruby. And the last stone in the priestly garment was the last son of Jacob, Benjamin, represented by Jasper. In the priestly garment, Ruby was the first stone and Jasper was the last stone. Yet in the throne, I saw that the Lord's aspect was first and foremost Jasper, and then Ruby. Yet Jasper was the last stone and Ruby was the first in the priestly garment. Thus the Lord has actually reversed the setting of priestly stones representing Reuben who is Ruby and Benjamin, who is Jasper and Benjamin that is Jasper has taken the place of Reuben that is Ruby. The Lord said, When I came to the world, I came to inverse so that the first will be the last and the last would be the first. I have inversed the law of Moses for the two sons of Jacob by the fulfillment of the law of Moses. Benjamin that is Jasper has taken the place of Reuben that is Ruby. Reuben means, behold the son. But Benjamin means, the son of my right hand, which is the strength of the father. Reuben was just a son but he was not of the strength of the father. The mystery of the twenty-four elders then the Lord directed me to look back and observe the twenty-four elders. When I looked at the twenty-four elders, I saw that they were pink. The Lord said, I will explain to you why the twenty-four elders seems old and why they are of pinkish colors. The Lord asked me, Man, what do you see in their hand? When I looked, I saw that they were holding golden harps and golden cups. I remember after this encounter, the chief angel Gabriel gave me the passage of Revelation 5, 8-10 AKJV and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps, and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Nine and they sung a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation, ten and have made us to our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. In this passage that the angels are worshipping the Lord and making mention of God's children that he had redeemed who will reign on the earth. We have here celestial beings mentioning the church and their worship. These celestial beings have a ministry for they were holding the priestly objects on their hands and the hand symbolizes the service. The Lord said, the twenty-four elders have two ministries or two dispensations for in their hands, they were holding golden harps and golden cups. The harps and the cups are the two ministries of the elders and they represent the two dispensations of the Old Testament and the New Testament. We have twenty-four elders. In the Old Covenant, Jacob had twelve sons and in the New Testament, Jesus had twelve disciples. When Judas betrayed Jesus and committed suicide, Matthias replaced him to complete the number. The twenty-four elders in the heavens symbolize the archive and the heritage of the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The mystery of the heart Jesus said, When you go back, tell humanity not to pay attention to the stories of their forefathers and elders, but to follow the accounts and stories of the elders, the prophets of the Old Testament and the apostles of New Testament. The celestial elders were holding a harp like that of King David, and a cup like the Lord Jesus who offered the blood symbolizing the covenant. The elders are the archive of the golden harp and the archive of the golden cup. And the more the church understands the archive of the cup and the archive of the harp, the more the ancients of heaven will worship the Lord. Then the Lord gave me 2 Kings 3 14-17 ERV Elisha said, I respect King Jehoshaphat of Judah, and I serve the Lord all-powerful. 
As surely as he lives, I came here only because of Jehoshaphat. I tell you the truth, if you were not here, I would not pay any attention to you. I would ignore you completely. 15 But now bring me someone who plays the harp. When the person played the harp, the Lord's power came on Elisha. 16 Then Elisha said, This is what the Lord says, dig holes in the valley. 17 Yes, this is what the Lord says, you will not see wind or rain, but that valley will be filled with water. Then you and your cattle and other animals will have water to drink. Jesus said the prophet Elijah had to prophesy to find water and solve the problem. He said to the kings of Israel to bring him a harp player so that he will reveal the location of water. The 24 elders in heaven play harps to the Lord in order to share with humanity how to find water, for there is water shortage on the earth in the end times. And in Bible prophecy, water is the word of God. The harp player was playing for the prophet to receive revelation. Those who play harp are the source of revelation. The 24 elders are the source of revelation for the church in order to understand the old covenant and the new covenant. The source of revelation is not the children but the elders whose purpose is to explain to us the Old and New Testament for they are the keepers of the archive. The Bible says the true worshippers will worship the Lord in truth and spirit. This means that men will worship the Lord with the harp in their hands and the cup on their hands. We must understand that the harp is an instrument with eight chords. The 24 elders were holding 24 harps and the reason the harp has 8 chords is that every male child on the earth must be circumcised on the 8th day. When a male child is circumcised on the 8th day, in heaven God receives the glory for this is a covenant that indicates that you belong to a clan or tribe. Circumcision causes men to enter into a covenant with the Lord through the blood. Circumcision of the body is a sign and symbol of a covenant that indicates that you have been enabled to procreate, to give birth and to produce fruit. As a child of God, you must produce fruit. And when a church produces fruit by winning souls, the elders make use of their harps to glorify the Lord and there is festivity in heaven whenever souls come to Christ. The Bible says the will of God must be done on earth as it is in heaven. And when we win souls, we prove that we have become productive and the elders celebrate. Then the Lord gave this passage of Ecclesiastes 11, one that says, Cast your bread upon the waters. The Lord said, Casting bread on the waters means spreading the gospel on the earth. And the Lord said, There on the earth, we only need eight people. That is why the Bible says to divide the bread into eight parts and cast them on the water which represents the people. For in heaven the twenty-four elders hold a harp of eight chords. Ecclesiastes 11 1 to 2 AKJV cast your bread on the waters, for you shall find it after many days. 2 give a portion to 7, and also to 8, for you know not what evil shall be on the earth. When the word reaches 8 people on the earth, the heavens will glorify the Lord. Only 8 people are enough and heaven will be happy. For what happened in the time of Noah would happen in the time of the return of the Son of Man. In the time of Noah, 8 were saved through the word that was preached. And number 8 is the number of salvation. Moreover, the harps of the elders will always be played in heaven when we proclaim the word and 8 people are saved as in the time of Noah. The purpose of the church is the salvation of souls. This is what pleases the Lord. In the time of Noah those who accepted the word entered the ark for a journey, and today those who have been baptized in Christ are in a journey in the ark, which is the church. The ark began its journey only when the rain began to fall. For the rain is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. And in the last day, the Lord will send His rain and the Holy Spirit on all flesh for the rapture. The diverse animals in the Ark of Noah are the people of all nations that are baptized in the church and they are on the journey to Mount Zion. Any preaching and teaching that do not talk about rapture and the rise of the church must be eliminated and discarded. For the rain is drifting the church to the mountain of Zion. If you are still attached to the earth, and if you don't want to rise, then the Spirit of God is not acting in your life and your church. The ark was built with gopher wood, Genesis 6:14, which is the lightest wood in the moment it rained, the ark rose and moved. The rapture will be for those who are light, not heavy. Those who are heavy are bogged down in sin and the weights of this world. The Holy Spirit comes down for the rise of the church and the water of rain is for the rapture. The mystery of the cup after explaining to me the mystery of harp in the hand of the elders, the Lord mentioned this passage in Genesis 40, 11-14 AKJV and Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. 
12 And Joseph said to him, This is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. 13 Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up your head, and restore you to your place, and you shall deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand, after the former manner, when you were his cupbearer. 14 But think on me when it shall be well with you, and show kindness, I pray you, to me, and make mention of me to Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house. Then I wondered, what is the meaning of the cup? Then the Lord began to explain to me about the mystery of the golden cup in the hand of the elders, and who are these elders and what is the purpose of the cup in their hand. The Lord said that for Simeon to come out of jail, Benjamin who is the last born of the family had to come to Joseph. Joseph put his silver cup in the bag of Benjamin after Simeon was released from prison. Genesis 42-44 the twenty-four elders holding the cup in the heavens are members of the Supreme Court of Heaven and thanks to what is in their cup, they release people from jails and prisons. I saw the elders in heaven holding cup containing perfume, which are the prayers of the saints. Whenever a saint is praying, the royal and supreme court of heaven made up of the elders offer the prayers to the throne so that the children of God will be released from their problems and bondages. The elders placed God's children's prayers in a golden cup to indicate that a decision is to be made by the Lord. The royal court of heaven is configured in a way that no prayer that reaches heaven will be caged and unanswered. The elders of heaven who are the symbols of the old and the new covenant are called elders because they were there when the Lord was creating the earth. They are called elders because they worship the ancient of days and they were informed about God's children in advance long before they were born. The Lord had already informed the elders about us and our future. They know our future. Whenever you pray your prayers turn before them and they remember what the Lord told them in advance about you. They offer your prayer to God so that you get and become what you were supposed to be because they know what you were supposed to be and to become in advance. Joseph prophesied and said, The king will raise you up, but you will go before the king and you will give him the cup. In the cup of the kings of the earth is their pleasure. In the cup of the King of Kings, there are prayers of his children that the Supreme Council of Heaven are offering so that the children will become what they are supposed to become. This is God's pleasure. The elders worship the Lord with your prayers which is a worship subject for them. Our prayer is the pleasure of God. However, in order to come close to the King, we need gold. When wise men were before the baby Jesus they brought gold and when we pray, our prayers are placed in the golden cup and offered to the Lord. Every time you pray, you give the elders the job of offering prayer to God. The golden cup talked about the priesthood, and we are the kingdom of priests. And when we pray, our prayers are placed in the cup and offered to the Lord. This approach to the Lord in prayer gets us closer to the Lord. What is important is our prayer. That is why it is placed in a golden cup. That is why the elders remind the Lord that he has made them a kingdom of priests and given that they are priests their prayers go inside the cup. That is why you should always pray. The mysteries of the four living creatures, the twenty-four elders, the trumpet, the harp and cup. Kindly subscribe to this number one gospel channel for more exiting testimonies, vision and messages from Jesus Christ our Lord.